my youtube channel in today's video i'm showing you my favorite items in my wardrobe so i just decided to do a variety of items in my wardrobe like jackets dresses loungewear like sweats sweaters jeans dressed up clothes and yeah um accessories so let's just get started so the first item i have here um is a white button up and i love this because you can style this so many ways and it's super cute and I just think it's so classic and it's so classy when you wear it. Um, you can literally just even do plain button up um, pants, shoes and like a nice lippy um, or a cute bag to accessorize it and make it look all fancy and sophisticated and dressy. So this is from H&M and this is in a size medium. The only thing I would say about this is that it does wrinkle very quickly and yeah, um, it's very light linen material. So you can definitely wear this in like the springtime, summertime. It's very breathable um, and I like it. It's very see-through, so yeah. But it's super cute. It's just a white basic um, button up that I can never not have in my wardrobe. I actually have like three of these in my wardrobe. <laughs> so yeah, love this so much. My next favorite item in my wardrobe are mom jeans. So these are what the pants look like. So it looks just like this. And it has this little acid wash tone, um, hints of dark blue, medium denim wash color, like specks in it, which I like. And then the buttons, um, it's not like a zipper pair of jeans. It has multiple buttons. Um, and I like the fit of it. It's very snug on. It looks really good. Um, and the bottom going all the way down it has this dress right here and it's like fringe and it's super cute and then I love the little rough hem trim right here I don't really know what it's called I think that's it but yeah that's super cute and these are one of those jeans where if you put them on you know if your butt is getting bigger or not so I love these for that too like literally I can see like my butt like getting smaller and getting bigger at the same time in these which i love so it definitely pops your booty if that's what you're looking for in jeans um i like this here although i've seen some videos where like people are saying like if you want your jeans to look more expensive or more good quality than to take this off which i actually know how to do that i know how to like take, take the seams out of it um the threads but i don't know i kind of like it there even though it doesn't have a logo or anything on it i just think it's fine like that to me personally but yeah um, so the back just looks like this and they're super cute. They're not very tight on. They're snug, but they're not too snug you guys and they're not baggy at all, which I like because most of my jeans are pretty baggy for me. But I don't mind. Yeah, so these are from H&M. I don't know if I said that and this is a size six. So yeah, I got these a while ago. Actually, I don't even remember when I brought these. I think I got them in like last summer you guys and i knew that this would be perfect like my new favorite pair of pants and if i could buy another pair just like this i i would the next item i have here are sweatpants and they look like this and these are my all-time favorite sweatpants and i don't know the material the feel the fit it's just cozy it's like i love the detailing on it it's just so pretty and they look like this so they're all white going all the way down and they have this like flare bottom but it's kind of like not as flare as you think like it's not like straight leg but it's not super flare which i like and they're they cover my ankles which is nice um and the back just looks like this it's just the same going all the way down and then the sides are super cute you guys it has this like black strip lining detail that goes all the way down and the material kind of feels like a ribbon so yeah it's super cute and it goes all the way down you guys and then it has this like mustard color i don't know this like this this gold color i would say i guess i don't know so yeah it's super cute and it does go all the way down as well and then i like the string detailing because it's black and then it has like silver little clasps to hold the string um so these are from zara 
and they're a size small. So I got this in a 2018 because it says um, 18, so that's how I know. But um, I remember when I first brought these, I think I was going in there for an interview um, before I knew that I was going to get hired there. And I just went through their apparel because I'm like, oh my gosh, if I work here, maybe I should buy some stuff, you know. And I just walked around and I found these sweatpants and I knew instantly they had to come home with me. And they're so cute and so adorable. And I wish that they had a matching top to this. I'm not sure if they did at the time and I just didn't purchase it or if they never did. But I think this is super cute. And I definitely wear this a lot. This kind of gives me like cozy street, st street style vibes. And um, yeah, I wear this so many ways. Like literally, I love it so much. I have another pair of white sweatpants, but I like this one way better. Because it's, it has more like detailing in it. It has more of like, I don't know, it's just so much better. The next item I have in here are leggings from Forever 21. And I got these a very long time ago, you guys. Um, I would probably say a few years ago. Um, so this is a size small, and this is what they look like. So they're, they're active wear leggings, and it's black going all the way down. And then the sides have this very cute detailing of like white lining contrast. And then it has like a mesh right here, and then it has like pink, and then it has like two stripes on both sides. So I think that's a super cute detailing to a regular black pair of leggings. And the back looks the same, so it looks just like this. And I really love these so much. Do you guys ever have like those pieces in your wardrobe that you love so much and you try to save them for like special occasions or when you feel like it's the best time to wear them and then you wind up never wearing them in your closet and you're like, oh my god, I forgot that these were my favorite pair of clothing items because I never wear them. Well, if you're like that, that's me all the time. Like half of my clothing items in my wardrobe I've never worn before because I just feel like I need to save it for a better occasion than just walking up the house and doing something random. You know what I mean? Um, I'm just realizing out of all the years I've had this that it has this inside like string. Um, and it's very hidden. I never noticed this. I literally just noticed this. And it like, if you want to cinch in the waist to make it like tighter, you can. But if you want to bring it back out, um, it looks like this, you guys. Can you guys see that? So, yeah. I just noticed that, that's insane. Um, that's so nice. Yeah, I love these so much. I don't know what's the point of me saving things in my wardrobe um, when I wind up never wearing them because it just, I don't know. The next item I have here is a sweater from Forever 21 and I did have this since college, you guys. And it is my favorite clothing item I've ever bought in college because I still have it. I still wear it like every chance I get. It's like the most quickest item I wear in my closet and the most dirtiest because I'm constantly wearing it. And it's so white that it picks up everything, you guys. So yeah. So it is in the size medium and this is what it looks like. So it's just a plain white sweater, as you would think, and then it has this little detailing here that says real, and yeah, so, and then on the sides is what really, like, caught me into it, because I'm like, okay, it's just a white sweater, you know what I mean, like, what, what's so special about a white sweater? I mean, it's a staple, it's a classic, but, like, this one is so much prettier because it has pink in it, so it has, um, like, this pink nude color, and then it has black, and I don't know, something about the way these just clash together, it's just, I love it so much, like... I seriously love it so much and it looks like this from the front and this from the back and I love it so much you guys like I wear this all the time it's my favorite item ever and I don't even think that when I first brought this I wore this a lot because of the fact that I knew this was gonna be my favorite item at the time so as the years pass now I'm really getting my wear out of it which is insane to say but it's true the next item I have here is a dress. Now, I wasn't going to add this in, but I just decided to add this in because it literally is my favorite dress of all time. It's more of those formal, elegant dresses. It's not really those, like, um, party dresses, club wear, anything like that. I mean, it can be, but to me, it's more, like, special. Like, if I'm going to a dinner, an event, um, an occasion. So here's a little quick story. So this dress I got was supposed to be for a wedding that I was attending um, before COVID happened. And then I guess like the wedding time and then COVID just interfered together and it got canceled, which is very sad. But um, I decided that I was going to wear it for my birthday. And honestly, it was the best decision I've made. 
So it looks like this. And it's just like this velvet material, velvet suede material. It has these little stringy straps and it goes all the way down. And it's like a midi dress, I would say. It's not a maxi. And then on the side, it has this like little slit right here, which is not super high up. I would say it's like maybe like your thigh area, like the slit. And it's so cute, you guys. And then I like how it has this little um, V shape in the front where it's like that. And the back looks like this super cute you guys i think you guys can see the slip more in the back than you can in the front but yeah so i thought this was so cute this is from forever 21 and i got a size small and i think when i seen this on a mannequin i was like this is so ugly like why do they sell stuff like this that looks so hideous and then i was just like you know what i'm supposed to be looking for a wedding dress something formal something that's not in my wardrobe because obviously anything in my wardrobe is not really wedding wear so i just I don't even remember if I tried this on or not. I think I just grabbed it in like a rush and I was just like, you know, this is just going to have to work. I don't know how, but I'm going to make this work. And I purchased it and then when I finally worn it and tried it on, you know, I loved it so much. I'm going to pass this on to my future daughter. I'm not even kidding you guys. Like this dress is so pretty. Um, and I remember I styled it with like some black heels, I believe, or nude heels. And black jacket because it was kind of cold around my birthday it's always cold because it's like the first day of autumn fall and yeah it was super cute and the inside has this little um detailing like that honestly i was afraid that this wouldn't fit me just because of the size of my chest but it's actually a little big on me like you can adjust the straps here which is great but i just like i said whatever it's fine i'll make it work but it's super cute you guys and i cannot wait to wear this somewhere again um Maybe if I go to like a fancy dinner or something, I'd wear this dress there. Yeah, it's super cute. And I love the all black look. It's all sleek. And I would style this next time with my hair being in like a ponytail. I think that would be really cute as well. The next item I have here is a jacket. Now this jacket I got from Missy Empire UK. And I found this through an influencer on Instagram. I'm not sure her account name anymore. Because it was like last season. Like last fall time I believe. Um, or the fall before that you guys I'm not sure COVID has my like schedule and like life events all messed up because I feel like we were on pause for like a whole year or two and then we just now we're back into the, the life field but yeah so this jacket is from Missy Empire and I saw this on an influencer and it looks so cute and I knew that I had to have it and I was like hoping that they didn't sell out my size if I can get the correct size because it's like from the UK, so their sizing is a lot different. And I also wanted it to look oversized. But I think I just went by the measurement of um, the influencer. So yeah, I'm trying to zip it up so you guys can see it. There we go. This is one of those jackets you have to be careful when you zip up because the material could get stuck in the zipper. And yeah. So I've worn this up. A lot of times this season so it looks like this it's like an aviator jacket and it has this like teddy coat material and I like the cream white color in it and the black contrast detailing with the silver lining detailing as well so it has that like edgy like style to it and I like the way the um, the collar neck has this little leather material texture here all around which is super cute if you want to wear it like up like that um, and then it has like buckles I've never buckled this, but it would be a lot more convenient when I'm outside and I don't have a scarf on and like the wind is blowing directly on my throat and it's super cold out. But yeah, I'm gonna do that next time. But so yeah, so the back looks like this. And it has this buckle down here that I never adjust, but you can adjust it. It has different holes to make it tighter or looser for you. Um, but I just leave it like that because I like the edgy, like, oversized contrast look. And it kind of reminds me of, like, a street style New York look. Um, I can see this being styled with, like, some black um, shades, um, a black leather fanny pack, some leather pants. Like, just an all-black look. I think this would be super cute. Like, you can style this multiple ways. I normally just wear this with, like, mom jeans and a sweater and a scarf. If I remember to grab a scarf. But yeah, it's my favorite look of all time. And I do still have the tag on this. I'm really not sure why I have the tag on it. Um, I think I wasn't sure when I first got it if I wanted to keep it or sell it or give it away to somebody But I'm keeping it now because I love it so much um, Yeah, I just really don't take the tags off my stuff sometimes. I don't know why I do that. I just do that 
so and it has my makeup all over it. I don't know if you guys can tell but like I don't know like it has my makeup all over this jacket you guys probably wasn't the smartest idea to get such a light jacket when I wear makeup a lot but it's like right here and like yeah so the next item I have here is a beanie and this is a cream beanie you guys and I love it so much and I got this a while back at H&M and it a rib texture and it looks like this i'm gonna zoom in a little um yeah i've worn this so many times you guys my makeup is literally all over this beanie um yeah so it's all over this beanie um i don't know why when i wear makeup i choose to wear the beanie instead of the days i don't wear makeup to wear such a light color beanie but if i give it a good wash i'm pretty sure it'll come out i wore this yesterday to style a video and my makeup literally half of my forehead was like on here instead of on my forehead but yeah so it's super cute i love it i think you can style this so many ways and i love the cream color it's cozy and i have other things in my wardrobe that can match this like just a regular basic outfit a beanie some cream booties and a cream jacket and you know and it just looks so cute together the last one i have here is a new beanie that i brought and it's in the color black and it's also from h m it's exactly the same style and it looks like this and i don't know where this beanie obsession came from but it's real you guys like i want an orange one i want a pink one i want a gray one i want a red one i don't know what's wrong with me but i feel like i need all the colors that i can get for beanies i just think they're so easy when it's like a very cold day outside um sometimes hoods i'm still very cold like my head is still very cold so if i have a beanie on it just kind of like it's 10 times better to me in my opinion and i love it for bad hair days like right now i probably should have filmed with a beanie on but um i decided to show in the video so just a black beanie and this one is a lot better than the cream one i would say because when i wear makeup with this one you know it won't pick up as much because that one is so much lighter but this one is darker so you won't really be able to see it as much and yeah those are all my favorite items in my wardrobe at the moment um, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!